Hello friends, welcome to the SYBSC IT Semester 4 Embedded System Practicals. Today's practical is to interface 8051 microcontroller with digital to analog converter and generate square wave of given frequency on oscilloscope. Here is the embedded C code that you require to generate a square wave. The first statement is to include registry 51.h. This statement will add all the necessary library files which are required to execute your program. The next is a function prototype for a delay function. This void for a delay is actually a function, user defined function to generate a delay. This is the function prototype, this is the function definition and this is the function call. I have used here for loop delay. You can also use T mod to generate a delay for this program. Then next function is a void main function. Every embedded C program will have this void main function. In this function we have taken one port named P2 which is one of the port provided by microcontroller 8051. Initially, we have given the value 0x00. That means all 8 pins of this port will be initialized to 0. Then while 1 is an infinite loop that every embedded program should have. Inside the loop, firstly, the port P2 is initialized to the maximum value and that is 0xff. These are the hexadecimal values. Then we have called the delay function, for delay function. So it will be creating a delay of this given specification. Then we have set this port P2 to all zeros. To generate a square wave, we require only two values, the low value and the high value. And that is what we are doing here. Once we are making it as high, after some time we are making it low. So only these two values are enough to generate a square wave. Since it is an infinite loop, it will keep on generating the square wave in a loop. So this was the program. This is how your user interface of Keel software will look like, where you are going to create a program for this embedded C code. Here is the output that you are going to generate a square wave using Keel software. You can also generate this square wave using Protease software. So there is an oscillator, oscillation simulator which you can use to generate a simulated square wave. So let's see how this program can be coded. So to do so you have to use Keel software. Initially I will be using this option close project so that all the components which are open right now will get closed. This is always good to close everything before we start a new project. So to create a new project click on project, click on new micro region project. This will ask you the file name. So you can actually give here the file name plus navigate to the folder where you want to store the practicals. So this was in a list this was practical 4C. So I will write it accordingly and this is about generating a square wave. So I'll just give the relevant name to my program. Here I need to search AT89 C51 microcontroller which is our microcontroller. You can simply ignore the startup code so click no. So you see the project is created. There is a package source group but right now there is no such program which can generate the sine wave. To add this program you have to take a new file so you can use this option otherwise you can go to the file and click on new. Now I have already written this code which I explained in my first section of this video. So I will copy this code and will paste this code here so that we will not be wasting our time in writing the code. 
you see very first this is a text file and this is this program is displayed in normal text now if I want this to be an embedded C code I have to save this file with dot C extension so I I can use the same name as my project name to save this dot C file it is not compulsory to use the same name you can use any other name to save it with dot C extension then you see that this program got interpreted now according to dot C so all the keywords are recognized the matching curly braces are recognized accordingly the next step is we have to add the program the C program that we have just created into this package to do so just right click on source group and click on add existing files here you can navigate to your program and this was the program this was the C file that we have just created click on add and click on close thereafter you can check that the file got added now we have to execute this code before executing this code we have to set some options to do so just right click on this target and click on options for target one so here in a target you have to change the frequency to 11.0592 and in output you have to click on create hex file click ok once this is done now we can build our project by clicking on this menu or you can simply right click on this and click on build target so after building the target you see here that the hex file will be created for this project remember zero errors and zero warnings are necessary to be there if there are going to be any errors you need to rectify them and you need to build it again now once this hex file is done the next step is to generate a square wave through the logic analyzer to do so click on debug and click on start stop debug session so when you click on this it will ask you for this dialog box simply click on ok and here you can check on this logic analyzer so here is your logic analyzer you can extend this window of the logic analyzer by simply dragging it down like this now you see in our program we have used port number p2 to generate a square wave so here in a setup you have to create that port so to do so you can click here new this is the new insert port number so click on new and write here p2 and press enter so this p2 has got created p2 port in a logic analyzer has got created so this is the color that you can choose you can uh, actually display the square wave with any color that you want so you can select any color and you will see the output will be shown uh, in, a, in that color so you can use any of these colors so this way you can select a color click ok and close this window now you have to click on this run so after clicking run the square wave will be generated and that will be shown here on this logic analyzer window so this is how the square wave is generating but we are not able to see it properly because it is it has got zoom so you can just click on zoom out and then you will see the proper square wave so by just clicking on zoom in and zoom out you can check your output properly so this way the square wave can be generated using logic analyzer now we have to generate this square wave in oscilloscope also to exit this mode click on again on this starts and stop debug session now this will stop the debug session and will take you back to the programming interface now let us come to the protease software so in a protease software you need an oscilloscope 
to generate a square wave. To do so, first of all, click on this component mode and pick devices. Here we are going to search our microcontroller AT. AT89C51 which is our microcontroller so click OK now this microcontroller need to be added on this canvas so click on this and here add it here you can also click on zoom so that you will be able to read the ports properly now in our program we have used port number P2 so in this also I have to generate the sine wave using this port number P2. So from here you can get the oscilloscope. So click on this and click on the oscilloscope and place the oscilloscope here in this way. Then we are going to create our sine wave on one of this channel. You can choose the first channel. So all the pins from port number P2 should be connected to this port to this channel A. So I'm connecting all the pins that means complete port to this channel. So complete this step by connecting all the port pins to channel A. Now click double click on this microcontroller and attach your program to this microcontroller so you can navigate to your folder and in objects you will find the hex file of your project so click on this here you can change the frequency to 11.0592 even if you are not changing it will be no harm click ok and now click on play this is how the simulator will play. Now you see here that we have connected our oscilloscope and the port to one channel and that is channel A of our oscilloscope. So this is how the square wave is generated. You can check here, you can change the square wave width so that you will be able to see the square wave being generated. From this, this is the channel A. From this, you can also change the voltage value of this square wave. So this way, you can generate the square wave on oscilloscope. From this knob, you can change the width of your square wave. And from this, you can change the voltage value or the value or strength of your signal. From this, you can change the position where you want the square wave then you can check on different controls for on this oscilloscope so this is how you can create the different you can create the square wave using oscilloscope if you want the same square wave is to be generated on other channels too, you can simply add this input of port P2 to all the channels. So by just doing this, you see that now oscilloscope will generate the square wave of you will see that the square wave is generated on all the channels so here we have used different voltage value so if you want the, this blue color signal which is on channel B so channel B is here so you can change the channel B you can change the channel C signal this way and you can change the channel D so this is how the square wave is generated and displayed at the oscilloscope. This oscilloscope is also available in this simulator. So to stop this, you can click on this.
So this way we can generate a square wave on microcontroller 8051. Thank you for watching this video.